Hey guys, Dan Krause again with Southwest Michigan Dent Repair. And today we've got a lot of things going on on this 2016 Mini Cooper. Very nice car. Just have a few little dings in this door. Um, we're going to go with a glue pole on the edge, obviously, there. And then we'll probably do a glue pole in the center, There's, uh, the center of the door as well. All right, so we can see we've got this sad little dent here. We're just gonna put some alcohol on that, clean that up, and then uh, heat this up a little bit. All right, so unfortunately that was as close as I could get the door. There's still a little dent there. Um, it's not too noticeable. You catch it in the right light and you can see it. But unfortunately, because the way the skin is rolled over here, um, you can't access it. And that was as far as I could take it with a glue pole, so. Definitely shrunk it up a lot. I mean, it's very, very small, but still there. I may wet sand just a teeny bit and uh, make it look a little bit better, but we'll see. So I did clean up the other spot in the door, so it's all nice and straight. Now I'm gonna move on to the left quarter panel. That one's gone. And I think we will move on to the hood next. Okay, so we're on to the right front door here, or the passenger door, and there's a good little hole right there. Actually, it's a huge hole.
Okay, so I'm doing a little freebie on this door and you can see I've got like a basically a perfect knot to knock down there. That was a good little little door ding. Um, yeah, so I'll just talk about this glue real quick. This is the Mega Power Jiu Jitsu glue from Metal Medic. And these tabs here, these are the mixed bag. Um, this is the DB Money uh, tabs, the DB Money tabs. They are sweet. They work really good, guys. Uh, I'll just talk about this for a quick second. This glue, uh, you do not need to use a release agent, so no alcohol. Uh, you just basically put it on like you would a regular, regular tab and give it a pull. I found that slide hammer works really good. Just pop it off and it has a good adhesion, uh, but it's not so good that it's going to pull too hard. So pulls just hard enough, at least for me, I really like it. Uh, the other kind of nice thing too is this glue is a lot more like pliant than, uh, than other glues that I've used in the past. And you do not need to set your heat setting on your glue gun so hot. So save some battery life as well, but yeah. Go check these out, guys, at metalmedic.com. You won't be disappointed, I guarantee it. They work good. All right, so the dent in the door is gone. Turned out great. So we will move on to all the dents in the quarter panel. All right, so here's what we're working with. And we can go right through the tail lamp hole here. There's a area on the bottom and the top I can sneak around the filler neck. So yeah, no need to take anything else apart. And start out with a real long uh, 48 inch, half inch rod, just a single bend. And it's got a sharp tip on it to get those little dents that are in the front. All right, so this may look kind of silly. We're having all this stuff set up like this, but uh, this just helps me see everything a lot clearer. So I've got a dent down here that I'm gonna be working on. And I basically didn't wanna to have to be moving my head constantly all over the place. So just to have everything set up so I can see the whole quarter panel pretty clearly and all the spots I'm working on. And it kind of helps um, with, with the video. So. You can see here, there's just a little low spot that I've got to get up. And uh, that'll pretty much finish up the top section of the quarter panel. And then I'll move down to this smaller section down here, um, which is kind of a, a bit of a buckle. It's humped up here pretty good. So we'll push that out and try to relax that down.
Well, after I got this thing all polished up, there's one, there's two really, but we're just gonna worry about the one. Little dent there. So we'll get that taken care of with a little glue pull real quick. Alrighty, I am all done outside of some touch-up work. I ended up giving this thing a full Roops polish. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more content.